All right, today what we're gonna do is activate our factory alarm system with Alpha OBD. Stay tuned. Let's fire it up, baby. Whew. That was weird. Welcome to Big Daddy's house. I'm Adam. If you're a visual learner like me, smash that subscribe button. I got more stuff coming for you. Okay, so first and foremost, I wanna give credit where credit is due. I did not figure this out by myself. All I wanted to do is bring it to video step by step. So those of you who are visual learners like myself can see exactly what needs to be done. So that's what I've been trying to do with my videos. All credit goes to the ladies and gentlemen in the Rams forum that have put together great work throughs step by step on paper type tutorials, which upon first reading, seems really easy but then when you start to get into it you're like man did I, did I do that right is there something else i need to do so that is my point with trying to do something like this is to physically show you guys and girls exactly step by step what could be done with alpha obd and that way you could review the video make sure you got the right steps or if you need to revert back because of something then you can also do that now Remember, this is for fourth generation, 2013 to 2018 Rams. So I want to thank Ghost Ram for his awesome thread and all the workups and everything that's been compiled in that Alpha OBD thread for showing on paper what could be done step by step and allowing me to do this for everybody else who physically wants to see it. Now, there are many other guys that... I can think, but it would be a one hour video of just thinking. So if you're not a member of the Ram Forum, I suggest you become a member of the Ram Forum because there are so many intelligent, knowledgeable people on there that can help assist with situations, not just with Alpha OBD. I mean, it's an awesome, awesome website. All right, I've talked too much. Let's get into it. tool for this. So why did I take you all the way out to a school on a Sunday? Well, because there's nobody around and I'm about to set my alarm off to show you guys what it will sound like and what it will look like after you set the factory options with Alpha OBD. So let's get to it. Lock. Hear it? A lot of daylight happening right now, but I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little red light right where the speedometer gauge is at that'll blink on and off when this is armed. So now with the key, oh, I almost dropped that. So with the key only, which if you guys don't know, is inside, you just pull that lock and the key will come out. Okay, now as soon as I open that door, that alarm is gonna go off. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have the unlock really close to my thumb. Okay, ready? what I'm about to show you how to do right now. All right, so what you're gonna need for this, this is the OBD link. This is exactly where you put it. A Windows computer or an Android device and the Alpha OBD app. You will want to turn your truck into run position, which is two clicks, one, two. And then you'll fire up the Alpha OBD app. If this is the first time you're doing this, 
Uh, you're not going to have all these settings like I have, so I'll just start from the very, very beginning. First thing we want to do is hit the Bluetooth icon. Well, you could use Wi-Fi also, but I use Bluetooth, so I'm going to hit the Bluetooth icon. And then, if you haven't done this before, there won't show anything in paired devices, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to hit other devices, and then it should show up. And there it is and then tap it now if it doesn't show up for some reason there is a reset button at the bottom I think left hand corner of the OBD2 device underneath your dash you would hold that down for five seconds and then it should pop up all right next thing we're gonna want to do is hit Dodge Ram I already have it in gold because I have done this many times so then you would hit select car model tap that and then you would hit whatever car model you have I have the Ram 1500 DSDX so that is what I'm going to select and then select function we want to hit body computer click that and then select select control unit uh, for me I have a 2014 and what has worked in my case pretty much everybody's case is 2013 2017 power net so you would go you would click body computer my 2013 17 power net and that's what i just clicked and then we click the big red connect bar so touch that and it is going to connect to the body control unit then we're going to want to hit the hood or the car with the open hood and then select procedure to start so we're going to click that then you want to scroll down to car configuration change and click that so I am going to hit that and then at the bottom of here is select option so you click on that and then you have a million options here to change um not all of them are for dodge ram so be super careful when you're messing with stuff I, I pretty much wouldn't mess with it unless you know what you're doing or someone else has or if you're good at reverting back i mean i'm all about just trying stuff out but i mean nobody wants to brick their truck okay so <clears throat> we want to go to all right so if I remember right, this is pretty close to the bottom. But what we're looking for is Lynn and miscellaneous VTA. There we go. Lynn, miscellaneous compass, washer. VTA system present. Okay, it's right there in the middle. Touch that. And then select value. You want to select VTA. And then start. Now, mine already says current status is VTA because obviously, as you guys know, I have already done it. But you guys will just hit start. And then what you want to do is back out of the app. And then you want to set your alarm for five minutes. And then remove the key. And if you want to, you can remove the OBD2 link. I'm not going to, but you can. And then exit the vehicle. So that's the only setting I had to change to get mine to work. Uh, there are some other settings you can change if you have a 7 inch EVIC and I will post that now and just go through that same procedure one by one waiting five minutes in between. So this is a write up I got on the RAM form and you could screenshot this or whatever you need to do. I'll, uh, I'll leave it up for about, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then if you have a 7 inch EVIC and not a 3 inch, 
these are some of the other steps that you can take one by one waiting five minutes in between just like I had just showed you so what I had just showed you is all I needed to do and it worked for me all these other settings were actually enabled already for me so all I had to do is just go on through the Lynn miscellaneous and then VTA system present thanks for watching guys and girls And then remove the key. And if you want to, you can remove the OBD2 link. I'm not going to, but you can. And then exit the vehicle. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice out here. I had everything off in the hot sun just to make the audio good for you guys. Icy pop? Yeah, well, oh, I'll take an icy pop. I want the purple one. Purple. Purple icy pop. Wait. Ooh, there is a purple one. Yeah. Of course. Sweet. Do you want to put the towel? I usually wrap it, but I know you're hot, so you might want to. I'll bare hand this thing. Mm hmm. This probably has a million calories. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you watching? What are you watching? Um, parking lot? Mm -hmm. Parking lot? What shows people at, you know, the impound or ticketers? Right. People don't pay their tickets get their cars booted? Yeah. And people are like super big assholes there. You want to say hi to YouTube? Mm hmm. Now? Yeah, now. Oh, hi, YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> was, you guys are going to be cute. <laughs> I might cut a lot of this out. Unless you want to know what I do for five minutes. <laughs> while I'm waiting for Alpha OBD to set. <laughs> ah, I mean an icy pop. <laughs> My mommy said I could. Mm. I do that job. I think it's so funny how they blame like everybody else for them just not paying their bills. Yeah. Pay your ticket. Don't park where you're gonna get pay your car payment. Yeah. <laughs> You won't get towed. <laughs> a lot of people just park where they shouldn't and they know it. Yeah. Those look like boxers. <laughs> Can you tell he's using a clean windshield? 
<laughs> He's a damn liar. Let <laughs> me give it up on my side. <sighs> Oh, we're almost done. I'm not even finished eating my icy pop yet. Okay. Aww. That's a pretty fast five minutes when you eat icy pop. <laughs> Alright. That's it, boys and girls.